Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Afro Zen. Today we're here for the collective. Hey collective, flowers, 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 flowers. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell to book a private reading with me or shop in my store. All that information is in the description box below. All right. So let's get into it. So this is a channel message, my dream state. Now, this is going to be a trigger warning. All right. So in my dream state last night, I had to write that joint down, child. But in my dream state last night, there was a there was a man, there was a masculine that was coming after me. Um, first off, me and my spirit, we were um gallivanting um in this beautiful area of flowers. It was, oh my god, flowers from every source, like tulips and daffodils and roses and mums it, it was just we were we were in a space of just so much i would say gratitude and i was just smiling ear to ear because i truly love flowers um and like i said it, we were just surrounded by a lot of flowers so there was another individual that came by and noticed how how i was just in so much glee because i was surrounded by flowers and they gave me three bouquet of flowers and they were very heavy. They were very full, but there were three and things happened in three. That's how I took that. But anywho, so I'm all jolly and happy and got these big, beautiful bouquet and they're full and they're rich. The colors are vibrant and it's just, it just really took me to the top. Like, yo, can't nobody like, you know, mess up my day. So as I'm walking out, we're walking down the, um, down the street, me and my spirit. And I saw this car. It was a convertible. The convertible was from the 1980s. That type of um, that type of um, making and model. Um, it was white, it was specifically white, but it was rusty around the tire part. So the top part of you know where the the wheel connect, but it's still. Hopefully, you understand what I'm saying. But it was some rust spots um, on this car. And as the car turned out, it peeled out from the corner. And there was a masculine that was driving, and then there was a hitman in the back of the car. It was a drop top, drop top convertible. So you, you, hopefully you get my drift. The, the, the drop top was down. Somebody was in the front. There was a masculine that was in the front, and then there was a hitman in the back. So I saw, and when they saw me, they was like, "Got you." And I look. I had my flowers. I ain't, I ain't dropped my flowers or nothing because I ain't got nothing to be afraid about. So when they said, got you, I said, okay, try this. So I stated my word of power for me. Word of power is a form of like a prayer, affirmation, a mantra, right? So I started to heavily start to recite this word of power. And the gunman or the hitman was aiming the gun towards me, right? And as soon as I started to put down heavy, heavy, heavy word of power and that backside, the hitman turned the gun towards the driver and blew the driver's head off. I was like, so, um, and at the end I started, or at the end I showed so much gratitude. So I feel, cause remember I told you it came in threes, things come in threes. So wherever you are in regards to confirmation, this could be your second or your third confirmation here. But what I got from the dream is that everything that they had sent out towards you because they have been looking for you in every way, which way, shape, or way, form, whatever, and they couldn't find you. And they finally thought that they got you. Like, this is the last time, like the last hoorah. Because like I said, those flowers were very symbolic. And they're like, yeah, I got you, I got you. And I just did my word of power. And that's the gun was aimed towards me. But as soon as I started reciting it very heavily, I just stopped closed my eyes and I just started to recite. I held onto the flowers very tightly because to me it felt like, a, I don't know, it just felt, it felt safe. It, it felt safe. If you know how flowers, well, I don't want to get too deep into that. Okay, but it just felt safe to me. So as soon as I said that, gunman flipped the gun that was on me and flipped it right to the driver. So whoever is driving this, this wheel of, of, of shame, this wheel of destruction, this demise, everything is being returned back to center. And that's how I looked at it there. All 
All right, we have power in reverse. This person has no power over you. They think that they do. They don't have any power over you. They're trying everything possible to stop you from moving forward. Even though they are fully aware of the situation, they know that they're the reason why everything has happened in the way that it has happened or transpired. I'm starting to get hot, excuse me. Um, it's like they're grasping at straws. They can't figure out how, they can't figure out what they can do to beat you here. And everything that they have tried up to this point has failed. And I honestly feel like, like I said, is in threes. Um, this person is really coming up on, this is the end of everything. Like all that they have sent out to you already has been reversed, but because they're trying to go against big sis up there, okay, the universe, mother Gaia, right? They're trying to go against, you know, um, big dog up there, you know? Um, it's like they're trying to force <laughs> the universe's hand. Like, okay, this is, you know, I don't believe that they don't believe they're atheists, number one. And then number two, they feel like they still can get you some way, shape or form. And they're in for a rude awakening. Hmm. Rude awakening. Like they even try to get me in my dream state. <laughs> so solitude is in reverse. OK, so if you feel like you've been in solitude for a while, it's time to come out because you truly are protected. No one can touch you. You are protected, okay? And if you're doing what you're supposed to do, then you're going to be fine here, all right? And they're going to get the shock of their life here. Like I keep saying, they're going to get the shock of their life here because they're going to be very mad that they weren't able to betray you. And because of your bravery, of your word of power, your affirmations, your mantras, your prayers, take a heart resonates here, it's what, it's what allowed you to be in the spot that you're in today. Hence the flowers. And I keep going back to the flowers um, for an example, but it, it just makes sense. <laughs> and while this person passed away in the dream state, um, there were people asking like, what happened? What happened? And I knew what happened. I just stood quiet. I didn't say anything. And it was like, you know what? It's okay because they didn't treat you well anyways. So it's like people were just like siding with you. Like, yeah, we saw how this person treated you and they got what they, damn. Like I said, that was in the dream state. See that hand? See that man? Oh, look, look, look. Big sis. Mm -hmm. See them hands? Because this person is going against the universe. Like, why isn't this person not? getting sick why is this person not losing anything like they're so gun ho on trying to get you to lose something anything and it's really they're really setting up their, their themselves ain't no more warnings there's no more warnings with these desolates these catastrophically frothies <laughs> Can you imagine your own filth take you out? Because that's exactly what it is. They're living such a very low vibing life, reality, environment that they're not even realizing that their low vibes is taking them out, taking themselves out here. So they try to do trickery. They try to do trickery, but they got caught in their own web here. Telling you things have blown up. I'm. I'm hearing gas leak. Hmm. I'm hearing gas leak. Be careful in your home. They're not going to be able to escape this. I'm telling you. They're not all for love. But the type of love that they have towards you is just very, it's unhinged. It's not healthy. Like they feel like you belong to them. Mm, no, no. Mm -mm. <laughs> By any means necessary. And they don't realize that you're in a shell or you have a shell of protection. Strength, protection against evil, divine messages. You're very resilient and you're determined to get whatever it is that you need to accomplish, you know? And they don't understand that here. So we have the lovers here. They're upset because you don't want to be with them. 
that's a narcissist's worst nightmare is that when they're losing control because narcissists normally don't lose control and the reason why they don't normally lose control is because the people that they do this wickedness to they may talk up but they don't speak up publicly to where everybody is aware of what that person is doing they'll just say it amongst their little friends oh no da, da, da. okay just stay away don't talk to them in that kind of way no you need to expose them you need to expose them and by expose them it's going to put them in a nine of swords <laughs> We have the six of wands here. Mm -hmm. You celebrating and you just walking away. Um, there's a song by um, mm -mm -mm, Jackson. Jackson's the Jackson Five. Jackson's. And there's a difference. Trust me, it's a difference. Yes, it's the Jackson Five. But after they graduated from there, they went to the Jackson's. And then all the brothers kind of went there, you know, they did their solo thing. So there is, trust me, is a huge difference, especially in regards to the music that they put out in the particular era or, you know, many who the Jack sons, right? There's a song called destiny by Michael Jackson or the Jacksons. And it's, um, I want destiny, destiny. It's the place for me. Yeah. 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 Give me the simple life. It's a really, really, really good song. It's the Jacksons and it's called Destiny. I think it's off the, the Victory album. I want to get far from here. Nobody can take my life. Okay, it's called Destiny, actually. So the album, I'm going to post it on the, the, the collective board, but it's the Destiny album and the song is called Destiny. And it's a really, really, really good song. Really, really, really good song. Listen to the lyrics and maybe that may resonate with you, but your destiny cannot and will not be tampered with. Okay. You're not living in your South Node no more. You're living in your North Node. This ain't going to resonate for everybody, okay? This is only specifically for the ones that resonates for here, okay? And also, I want to keep in mind, let you guys know, again, this is a collective reading. If it don't resonate, please do not force yourself in a story that does not resonate because what you're doing is that you're opening up and you are telling, you're opening up vibrationally and you're telling the universe, oh, that's my story and that's my story. And then if it's not your story, these things can actually start to manifest in your world. So only take what resonates, leave the rest. Okay. It's very important. Everything is not going to resonate with you. This is a collective read. Okay. <clears throat> so you really debilitated this narcissist here. You left I'm like, man, look at them cubs. Them cubs ain't doing nothing. They dirty. They rusty. Like child, please look, 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 child, please. You see, child please i ain't got time child please mm -hmm. and the moon because it was eclipsed here is like oh shoot they know what's going on they left all them broken dusty desolate cups and they went nah -uh, i'm going on my no mm -mm. Mm -mm. so they feel very defeated here the slander didn't work the gossip didn't work the calling you out your name all that stuff that they tried saying that you 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 bad you own drugs you own this all that they have said about you behind your back is now being fallen on deaf ears because people see that this person has a very 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 obsessive obsessive um way with you and what they don't realize is that they're sacrificing their, their, their selves here because the, the sword that they, they brought out for you, that they thought that they can wield in front of your face, is the same sword that they're going to fall on. Hmm. Child. A narcissist don't like the truth to be told because if the truth is told, <laughs> it's gonna make, it feels like they're going to disintegrate into nothingness and that's what they are they're nothing they're they're not anything they're not made of anything they're nothing they come from nothing right this that's this 
So you have light and you have dark. And I'm speaking energetically, energetic wise. And in the dark, there's things that you can do. There's chaotic, chaotic magic, chaos magic, and stuff like that. I don't want to go too deep into that. I'm going to have to make that a class. Mm -hmm. This person is just operating out of their, their dark energy, but the energy is very chaotic and they don't know how to control or maintain it. And it's to the point that they're going so low, so vibrationally low, and you're nowhere near that. You're too high. You're too high to be touched or attacked by that icky nastiness. And this person don't understand how energy works, and it shows... And this person don't even realize that they're going to take themselves out with their own sword that they tried to put for you. So. The wheel of fortune has turned, is turned or is turning in your favor, not their favor. And just the idea that things are working out for you in your favor, it just drives this person to a meltdown, a tizzy. It's like, oh my God, no, no. It's like, it's like you took something from them. I, I, I child. You took your power back. Your energy. Imagine, right? And I'm going to say this metaphorically. Imagine you giving supply to this person, unbeknownst to you, meaning you, your inner G. And while your life is going down, 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 this person just taking and taking and taking and taking and siphoning, siphoning, siphoning your energy to the point where you feel very down. And now you're like, yo, what the hell is going on? There are a lot of vamps. Out here, narcissistic people are vamps. They are vampire. And all they know how to do is just to take and to suck you dry. And it's up to you to determine and decide, you know, that this is happening in your world and your reality. And if it is, all you have to do is just pull back and cut the supply, which is you. You're not understanding your energy, your power. And I'm going to explain to you. It's like your... <laughs> told me to stop right there. Okay. All right. Never mind. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to give you the tea. <laughs> they said, no, no, no. Okay. All right. All right. So as soon as you took back your power from them... It exposed all the un unfairness that they were trying to impose on you. They're losing their wealth. They're very arrogant. They're unhinged. They're lying. Their deceiving, deceitful ways have been shown for everyone to see. And these people are not liking what they're seeing here. Because I'm telling you, in that dream state, the way that person came out behind that, that, that corner, bend the corner like that, and that rusty ass um, 80s mobile or whatever you want to call it, child, they thought they was doing something. Hmm. Five of Pentacles. They losing everything. They can't take this scandal because this is a scandal. It's a very nasty scandal and they can't take it. All for control. And they're trying to manipulate, they're trying to manipulate the energies of the universe as well too, but for negative and it's so dangerous to do. But when people don't have anything to lose or they're at their wits end, they're willing to go the extra mile. Don't worry, your family is safe, things of that nature. This person won't take themselves out, I'm telling you here. Because they're seeing like, yo, what's wrong with you? You need to stop doing this. Like, what's the problem? Like, why you can't leave this person alone? And you not even bothering. You ain't hurting nobody, child. You ain't hurting nobody. And a narcissist's worst nightmare is negative attention on them. Oh, well. Then don't do no dumb shit then. It's that simple. Don't do no dumb shit. I keep hearing Beetlejuice, but I'm hearing it three times. I, it's been a long time since I last saw Beetlejuice. Um, but 
when they say three times, is that when they Beetlejuice is summoned or something like that? You know what, girl? You got a phone. <sighs> Man, <laughs> so Beetlejuice is a play on the character Beetlejuice, which is housed in the infinite blackness of space, but in the same constellation as the more famous star Orion. Why do people say Beetlejuice? It says summoning his name three times stresses how much he is wanted and acts like some sort of a contract. So once he appears, you couldn't raise the defense that you summoned him by accident. Beetlejuice was darker and more openly malicious than he would become in the cartoons, though he also acted as a benefactor of sorts to the heroes. Though there was no attempt to hide the fact that Beetlejuice was not meant to be a nice character. Even the, the heroes who summoned him knew that he was pretty. He was pretty. Hold on. Uh, and where did that part go at? Pretty much a demon. Okay. But Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice was still used as a force of good as his chaos was directly large at a group of human antagonists. Though he was still rude, obnoxious, and hostile towards the heroes as well, not to mention the fact that he also tried to force one of the main characters to be his unwilling bride. So it's, it's literally basically light versus dark. Everybody has that. We all, we all have a light aspect of self and a dark aspect of self. It just depends on where you are as a person, where you want to be, how you want to live your life. It is highly suggested to live your life of duality. Yes, be in your light, but also be okay being your dark, but don't stay in your dark to cause chaos and havoc and all that stuff. Use the dark to pull out, go into the dark to fix things that you don't like so that way you can bring it to the light and it becomes a balance here, okay? Um, and this person doesn't know how to do that. They're just completely on the dark side here. And this dark is literally, it's, it's consuming them. It's encapsulating them into a, a world of demise. We have lovers. All right, I'm hearing on secret love. Yeah, that's what we are. They want to keep you a secret. You nobody's secret. You nobody's secret. Like I don't understand what's going on with this person here, bro. We had bad health. They're thinking about they throwing or projecting bad health onto you. They're in bad health. You not okay? Return to sender. All right, they're in despair here. How did I lose this person? This person was my best kept secret. That's what I keep hearing. Best kept secret. And all they wanted was for you. They, all, they only wanted what you could do for them, not what they can do for you. It was never 50-50. It was never. It was always, what, 100, 0%. Now they're not in alignment here because their world is tumbling or crumbling around them. <laughs> and they blame you. <laughs> Jeez. Child, you're nobody's scapegoat either. <laughs> When people have a lot of darkness that is surrounded them, they're going to do everything possible to stay secluded in their dark because imagine you've been in a dark room or space for, let's say, a day or two, and somebody just come in like, you know what? All right, that's enough. Frip, frip, frap, frip. And they literally just take off that cover and they expose you to the light. What do you think going to happen? Not a lot of people can handle that brightness of truth. You can't handle it. So they're going to fight you and fight you to keep being stuck in the dark 
but they want you to come where they at because it's much comfortable and no one knows what's going on. No. No. They want you to keep playing this game, but the game is over. Nobody's not playing any games. Your life is not a game. And they're getting, they realizing that they're, they're, they're about to lose this game that they try to put you in. Because they think because you're quiet and maybe you don't speak up, maybe you just walk away from things that you are weak. But a lot of them are getting a, a huge rude awakening that you're not nothing to play with. It's already happened. They're going through a lot right now. Yep, they have, um, they're running out of choices. They don't have any more choices. And they just, the further they go, the further they put themselves out into that dark abyss and they can't come back from it. So eventually, because they can't get out of this dark abyss that they place themselves in here, this is what's going to end. This is what's going to happen in front of everyone to see. They're going to self-sabotage themselves. I'm hearing, um, how does it feel? 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 When you're alone and you're cold inside, oh, stranger in my sky, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> this person feels like a stranger because you're not paying them any attention. Yeah. Mm -mm. All right. So they could be um, BA, uh, like a body, they like a sheep. They follow what other people do and say they don't have a mind of their own. Somebody could be gradu gradu graduating with their Bachelor of Arts. You know I'm here for that. Congratulations, flowers, flowers, flowers. You know I'm here for that. I love me some good news about the collective now. Okay. Make sure you, when you walk across that stage, yes, you make sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We rule, we cheer you on. Yes, collective. Yes. Yes, collective. With your smart self. <laughs> um. Now, B-A-I, if I'm not mistaken, it is a yogurt. I'm almost certain. I'm hearing, I'm hearing Bandai. Bandai is a, um, a brand, um, toy brand. Uh, I want to say like Japanese toy, toy brand. Somebody lives in the Bay, which is California. Okay. Um, somebody keeps saying, a hey, Bay Bay. A bay bay, a bay bay. I forget who sang that song, but somebody's playing that or may have listened to that or played that recently. Um, yeah, bystanders, people are watching this person literally destroy themselves and they're not helping them. All right, somebody's getting into AI here. All right, you're doing really well. Um, I'm hearing ethically, you're using AI very ethically, and that's good, okay. Because a lot of people that are using AI unethically, they're going to come out with some kind of a law or something. And it's going to hit, man. They're going to be cracking down on AI pretty soon. They really are. Because people taking advantage of it. Somebody's name is Amy. A-I-M-E-E. -E. Aim me. Some someone's trying to aim at you, but they no, it's not gonna work. Somebody likes Dooney and Bro Dooney and Brooke, I think it's called D B D and B. Somebody loves Dave and Buster's. Someone's very drunk. You're drunk bastard. All they do is drink. Um, somebody has a GT, which is um Nissan. I think it's Nissan GT. 
um, Grand Theft Auto, somebody's playing that. Be careful of your car being stolen. All right. I'm just saying. Somebody's tagging your car to be stolen. They, they're watching your car to steal it, child. I keep hearing um liberty, 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 liberty. So somebody has liberty or look or looking to like receive more information or I don't know. I just keep hearing approved, access approved. So liberty, liberty, liberty. I think it's is that insurance, health insurance or car insurance or so. But I heard access approved. Somebody listening to the baby. So I'll put the baby just stick with me makes sense b-a-b-y all right it just it makes sense to me stick with me all right um all right if you've been thinking about getting a youtube go ahead it's going to be do it's going to do really well you're going to be very thankful or you're going to be thanking yourself that you did it so keep keep doing it or if you haven't start start okay the jig is up with these with this person or this group of people here. The jig is up. You could be getting jiggy with it, which is um Will Smith. All right. Na 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 getting jiggy with it. Na 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 na. Hey na 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 na. All right. Um, somebody's listening to Jagged Edge. First thing I'm hearing is Wednesday lover, Wednesday lover, Wednesday lover. It's off their first album, Jagged Edge. Somebody could be living in Atlanta. What up, Atlanta? Somebody feels very jaded by you, J-A-D-E-D. -D. Don't walk away, boy, don't walk away. Ain't that by Jade? Somebody name could be Jade. Somebody's looking into a jade crystal. Yeah, somebody's feeling very jaded by you. Let me look at the etymology, but I'm almost certain that's like uh, they got a negative, you know. Bored by continual indulgence. Let me look up the definition. Tired, bored, or lacking enthusiasm, typically after having had too much of something. Okay, so you may feel jaded by this person. You're tired, you're bored. They're tired and they're bored. And okay, they're lacking enthusiasm because you're not paying any attention to them. So they feel jaded by you. So I feel like it's a two-way street. Somebody's going to um, BJ's. Or like a Sam's Club, BJ Sam's Club, blowjob. Somebody wants a blowjob from you. Oh, yuck. So my name could be Tia. Or you may be watching Sister Sister with Tia and Tamara a Maori. So my name could be Tia. Um, or you saying thanks in advance, you're asking questions and you're gonna get the answer to the question that you're asking. So thanks in advance. Um, somebody listening to Buju, Buju Bantan, B U J U. Yeah, he got some good hits. I'm keep hearing um, over hills and valley too. Um, I don't know the lyrics, but um, it's called Hills and Valley by Buju Bantan. All right, he's a you know, reggae, reggae conscious, you know, artist. Somebody loves Diggy, which is um, what's that? He's from um, Reverend Reverend. Mm, he was well known in the eighties. Uh, Reverend, is it Rush? Angela Simmons, all of them, that family. So somebody's really attracted to Diggy. He is attracted. He is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let me see. Hold on, wait, real quick. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Diggy is mm -hmm. Daniel Dwayne Diggy Simmons. Mm -hmm. A handsome guy. He is a very handsome guy. Yeah, he is. 
or I could say respectfully, he over age. Yeah, he he is a very nice looking young man. Yeah. 28. Somebody wants to go to Jakarta, or you could be from Jakarta. J A K. J A K A R T A. It makes sense to me, okay? Jakarta. Stick with me. Um, somebody's going bat practice. So baseball practice here. Somebody's gonna hurt their leg or they're gonna need surgery. It's gonna be they're not gonna be able to play anymore. It's gonna be a permanent something. They're not gonna be able to play at all. I'm hearing put it on my tab. So somebody's taking you out. A shopping spree. Okay. You trying to unbig your back. <laughs> Could be listening to Biggie Smalls. You're looking in the mirror and you don't like your size. Stop looking at Instagram. All right, because I feel like you're watching Instagram and you're not happy with your size, right? But you're you're creating a very negative mindset around your weight. And you don't have to do that. You don't have to self-sabotage. You don't have to self-inflict these harsh words about your body. Acknowledge if you are at a certain weight that you don't want to be. Okay, acknowledge it. And then start to use or prep your mindset to where you're going to get to the weight that you want to become. But all that self-sabotaging and, and self-victimization of yourself because of your weight, you need to cut that out. I'm calling you out. I say that with love, boo. Don't do that. And if you go on IG and you see people at a certain weight and that's triggering you, then you need to come off of that. And you need to acknowledge why that's triggering you in such a, a, a such an adverse way, okay? And if you need help, I'm here. We can get through the shadows. Book with book or read with me, boo. I'll, I'll get you together, okay? I'll get you together. All right, someone is going to tell you that they're gay. But you already know you truly don't care. You don't care. But they're going to come out and tell you that they're gay. Um, now I've seen this word before jit. I don't know the particular jargon, but I've seen it like that jit is something. I don't know. I, it could be close to like John, like John and Philly. J A W N can be used as a person, place, a thing. So that this, this, this here, this jargon can also probably be used in this way. Jitney, I think Jitney was a bus back in Jersey towards like Atlantic City and so. All right, I don't know why this, okay, I'm hearing Gaydar, G-A-D-A-R, so you have a Gaydar. Somebody come and take you on a date. People are envious of you. Not your problem. Not your problem. Somebody could be from Nevada. Somebody wants to get and somebody wants to get even. E V E N. Somebody wants to get even with you. Somebody's name could be Evelyn. Someone's name is Vin, Vinny, Vincent. Somebody loves a lot of a lot of wine. So V I N G T is French for 20. So someone is speaking French or learning French. All right. So this is 20 in French. Va. Or something may have happened 20 years ago. Or you're finally getting a new chance at life after 20 years of abuse, neglect. Okay. Somebody is uh, watching Ving Rams, or you may love his character. I'm hearing, was that holiday? The holiday, whatever. I'm also hearing baby boy. Somebody's listening to Erica Badu. Bag lady. Bag lady. I'm hearing um, didn't you know? Didn't you know? T 
T-I-N-Y. Somebody wants to get very tiny, okay? And you're going to get there. You will. But don't self-sabotage yourself with all those mean, you know what I mean? Like, don't, don't speak ill of yourself. Speak life into you. And if you're not at the weight that, you're, that you don't want to be currently, that's cool. Work towards it, but don't, don't talk down on yourself. Don't talk down on yourself. Um, I'm hearing Ireland, Irish bagpipes. Or is it Scottish? I could be wrong. Please correct me. Okay. I just keep hearing the the bagpipes playing and they make a beautiful sound. Is it Ireland or if it's Scottish? I don't think it's Irish though, but please correct me if I'm wrong. I could take it. Okay. I could take it. All right. Thank you. So this is also evidence bag. Like somebody is bagging evidence here. They're trying to create a portfolio or file of evidence and everything that they have, child. When I say the universe be really truly work for you, boo, you really don't understand just how favored and blessed that you are by this universe, by this higher source, this, this, this being here, the all, the creator. <laughs> they're creating, they're compiling, they have compiled a file of lies in regards to you and you just don't even understand how that is going to catapult you lord child you don't understand man when people really think they hurting you they really truly be helping you here man and all those paperwork and all that stuff they have against you here it is going to backfire so catastrophically so catastrophically hmm. Mm. This person has lost their divinity. They had gifts, but they lost it because they were doing a lot of negativity. Oh, I can actually spell it. Okay. Divinity. I'm missing the I, but you know, you catch my drift. All right. Look, divin divin divinity. Divin. I don't have the I, but you get my drift. Divinity. Okay. You collective, you are a divine individual here. Okay. You are divine. I'm here, do it for the vine, do it for the vine, do it for the vine. So you may have had a vine before. I don't know if it's still out or so. Okay, V-I-N-E. Someone is exas exasperating. Let me see, exasperate. Exas. Irritated and frustrated someone intensely so someone feels exasperated by you mm. we don't give a fuck we don't care <laughs> we have taurus in neptune in the seventh house okay we have um saturn in mm, 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 sag <laughs> ninth house we have South Node in Virgo in the third house. One more. You have Saturn, sixth house, and Leo. Okay? So you are Leo. You could be dealing with the Leo. All right. We have Sag. We have Gemini. We have Virgo. I'll do three more. Cancer. Aquarius. Taurus. All right. So if that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Next time. <laughs>